Hello everyone, welcome back to the class of Reservoir Simulation. <coughs> we are discussing about the Reservoir Simulator Eclipse Office. And uh, in the last lecture, we did some hands-on training on how to run the data file, how to obtain these results, and how to discuss the results. Today, we will discuss more about the data file. And uh, we will see, we will learn how to take the help from this, the manuals of the Eclipse Office Simulation. For example, when you open the Eclipse Office, there is a manual tab here. When you open this manual, you run it. Hold it and you run it. You will receive lots of manuals we have. So we have manuals for <coughs> flow grid, PVTI, skull, schedule, and VFTI. We have reference manual, technical description, and the data that we have already available. These all are all of them are very important for reservoir simulation. Now, first of all, we will start with the manual of this SPE way. Now, for example, we have this data file. Okay. And uh, we don't know what is this keyword, let's say field. We don't know what is it field. So we need more information about this keyword field. So what we, I will do, I will copy this one, go to the manuals, and I will start the reference manual. Reference manual. Let's see. Okay, here you go. Okay, I will go to the find and write this field and search it. So now you see that field. Here it is. It's a unit in Eclipse technical description for further traffic. So we go for the units. Okay, so we have the metric unit. So when we are using the field. It means the length we are talking about is in feet, time we are talking about in days, density we are talking about mole, pound mass per feet cube, pressure in PSIA, pressure differences, so temperature in Rankine, temperature in Fahrenheit, compressibility is high. So these are the units. You can change this field to metric also, or to PVT lab also, or to PVT. So it's up to us. So this is the first keyword we just find out. In here that it's a unit and uh, here in field the length is in feet and pressure is in psi and so on okay let's move ahead we don't know what is let's say what is dxv so i will copy the dxv and go to the technical manual back and control f control v control p search it here dxv the technical part. Here it is DXV found out. So <coughs> here it is the DXV. DXV. So DXV actually represents the X direction grid block size. So in field it is we said it is in feet. The unit is given here and uh, it is the dimensions in x direction the length how much is the length 500 feet 400 feet and only in x direction so this is what it is saying the keyword specify the size of the cell in x direction okay or you can say the length of it in x direction 400 feet 500 feet so on and so so it is like this here okay now let's go ahead and uh, I want to know what is this poro, this keyword poro, and then I will go back again, start from zero, control F, find, control V, here is the poro. So these are the keywords I will in also, which I will It should be here somewhere in porosity. Here it is poro. So I will click on this poro. So it's a porosity. Okay, it should be specified the grid block porosity. Specify the grid block porosity values. 
So for example, you can define separately for each. Okay. Or you can define just one for all. Okay. For example, if you have how many grid blocks you have. In this one, we have 147 grid blocks. Now another point comes here. How this 147 uh, number value comes? What it we did? We went to the dimensions of the grids and we just multiplied these three of them. So if you multiply these three of them, you will get this 147. This one. Okay. Five. Here it is calculated. So seven, seven, three, one forty-seven. Here it is one forty-seven. This seven, seven, three comes from the dimensions of the grid block. Likewise, if you go ahead and you want to know what is, let's say, SGF, SGFN, you can search it and go ahead and put here SGFN. Here it's a so gas saturation. So how much is the gas? So there are three columns. First one is the gas saturation. Second one is the relative permeability. Third one is the capillary pressure. Here, here you have this is the saturation, relative permeability. Okay, when it says that when 80% gas is there, permeability is 100%, and uh, so on. And uh, Okay, and capillary pressure is 30, and units are also given for this one. For metric system, the capillary pressure unit is psi field in atmosphere. Okay, atmosphere is the unit of capillary pressure given here. Okay, now likewise, you can find out all these keywords that we are looking for here. I'm more concerned right now <coughs> in this let's say let's look at this one this one this is very very important this one now compact okay it has value this seven seven three three one star one we don't know what all those numbers so what we do we will copy this comb there and go back here again from zero. I will control F, control V, complete, from that we found out. So here is it. It's a well completion data sheet. Okay, now it tells us that what are those numbers. The first one, number one, is the well name, well name template. So the first one you see here P. Here it is. This is the one. This is the one. Okay. The first one you see here is the name, the well name. Problem. Then the second and third is the location of I. Okay. I, J, and K. What is I, J, K? For example, you have two grid blocks okay so this is x direction is considered as i and uh, this one is j and uh, the z direction which goes like this one Now this one will be I, this one will be J, and this one will be K. Three dimensional picture. Sorry, it went. Okay, so I, J, K location. And for example, in I, we in this one we have. Uh, 
it has, this is also i j k as you can see here this is i this is j and this is k so in i you can put your well from for example you have seven uh, grids here so you can put in anywhere for example if i make the seven grids <coughs> This is one, a two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So it says that our well, if we'll go, is in seven one. So this is the I seven. This is I one, I two, I three, I four, I five, I six, I six, I seven. So if our well is at I three, so it means the well is here. So. I go here. Here it is. Our form that has. So the production well is I7. So this was first one. It says our well is here. Okay. And uh, not here exactly because this is only the direction of i j is also seven so if we have seven grid blocks so we have to make the second second this is the second three four five six seven four. sorry my drawing is not really good So this is the two dimensional one so it says that the well is in seven and seven so exactly if you look want to look at the well well location exactly is here this is one two three four five six one two three four five six and seven seven here exactly we made it actually not the line so seven and also one two three four five six seven so this is here is i and j they are both seven and seven here this is what this this picture is saying here i j seven and third one the z direction we have three layers so z is also three this is what this picture is saying i j and k then open and shut the well is open or closed okay so if you look at it it says that one star okay so let's look at it what is one star here so default value is open let me close this one Yes. Now let's look ahead some more of keywords. Let's say the well production or W con production. This is also very important W con production. So we go back and we write W con production. So here it is W con. So W con production first one again is the well name. Here is the well name. P is the well name. Second one is the condition well is open or closed. Second one is this one. Second one is okay. Third one is what kind of well it is controlled by oil rate or water rate. I mean, which rate you are talking about in production? Well. So we are dealing with oil rate or production rate or so on. This is the third one, and uh, control it oil rate, water rate, gas rate, controlled by what bottom hole pressure, and so on. Okay, the fourth value here is oil target. Or what should be the maximum uh, oil rate? This is the maximum production. What should be the maximum production rate? Maximum we allowed here 12,000 barrels per day. This is the unit is given here. A standard. This is the one standard barrel per day. Okay. Then in the 
first one we have the four star and we will see what is it so this one here is about the the pfp table number four star one and the last one here is about this bottom hole pressure how much should be the maximum bottom hole pressure uh, minimum bottom hole pressure is allowed so if the bottom hole pressure drops below the 1000 the well will stop likewise you can this is the w con production for example you want to know about this one you can search it here like there's no keyword here which is not given in the reference menu so you can find all of them so one of your assignment is going to be uh, finding those keywords and preparing the data file from there this is the one of your uh, assignment will be to understand the keywords from the table so in the next uh, lecture we will try to play with these numbers we will try to change the properties and see their effect on the production and show you that how the data file is going to be it can be manipulated for your purpose so for now enjoy this lecture i hope you learn and we continue further